In this video, we'll look at describing the properties of 2D shapes. What we'll look at is the sides, corners and angles. So we'll try and describe the sides, corners and angles for each of these shapes. So let's start with a rectangle. How many sides does this rectangle have? Well, I can see one here, so this, and another here, two, three, and four. So it has four sides. How many sides does a triangle have? It has one, two, and three. So three sides. And the square has one, two, three, and four. A circle, since it's not a straight line, it has no sides. So zero sides. A pentagon has one, two, three, four, five. A hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we'll look at corners. How many corners? The corners are the ones that are created where the two sides meet. A bit like the corners of a room in your house. So that is a corner here. This is a corner. That's a corner. And that's a corner. So we have four corners. In a square as well, we have one, two, three, four corners. In a triangle, we have one, two, three. In a square, there is no corner. In a pentagon, we have one, two, three, four, five. In a hexagon, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. What do you notice? Four sides, four corners, three sides, three corners, four sides, four corners, zero sides, zero corners, five sides, four, five corners, six sides, six corners. So the number of corners matches the number of sides. So if you remember that a pentagon is like a penthouse, it has these five sides that means that you can remember that it has five corners as well a hexagon has six sides and it has six corners as well now the next thing we'll look at is the angles what type of angles does this have now there is a special type of an angle which is called a right angle or a 90 degree angle it means the same thing that type of angle is the one typically created in the corners of a room like this so this is a right angle or created by paper the piece the um, a4 pieces of paper that you might have or smaller versions so that if I try and fit this into the corners of a rectangle, that would fit in exactly into place. And same thing over here as well. So that means that a rectangle has right angles. And 
if you look at the square, it also has right angles. So this has right angles as well. If you look at a circle, since it has no corners, you really can't fit any of these. So it has no angles at all. So zero angles. Or no angles. And if I try and fit this into the triangle, I can't really, in this type of triangle, I can't really fit this. So let's see how that looks. So it's not a right angle, really, this one. It's smaller than a right angle. If you try the next one as well, it's not like a right angle. It's smaller than. And the other one as well, it's smaller than a right angle. So this type of uh, triangle has smaller than 90 degrees. Let's have a look at this particular pentagon because there are many different ones. It could be, this could be um, a pentagon as well, so which looks slightly different. So for this particular one that we have, we've got we've got some right angles and we've got some angles which are bigger than 90 degrees as you can see. So bigger than a right angle. And that is definitely. So this has different ones, has 90, has right angles and others as well. And if we look at a hexagon, let's try and fit this in. That is definitely bigger than 90 degrees. And this is bigger than 90. And this is bigger than 90. So bigger than a right angle, bigger than a right angle, bigger than a right angle. So these are bigger or greater than a right angle. This has bigger and right angles, this particular shape. So knowing how or what a right angle looks like helps you identify what type of angles these shapes have. Do they have right angles? Are they smaller? Are they bigger? So again, a right angle is an angle that looks like this. Like the corners on a piece of paper or like the corners in a room. So we've looked at the properties of 2D shapes.